Welcome to the Popcorn Pop Culture Podcast Show. Uh, my name is Koi Snagenberg. I'll be your host, and alongside me, I have um, Ashley Ken. So, how you doing, Ashley? Good. How are you? Awesome. Um, you know, we're back at school, back at Kirkwood. Finally, you know, we got to wear masks, but I'm really glad to be back. Um, I miss I miss school when I went back home, so it's good to be back. How about you? I actually really, I very much agree. I really miss coming to school, having a schedule, um, activities to do instead of just like sitting at home, watching Netflix, being not productive at all. It's really nice to come back and see people again. Yes, exactly. And so what we are going to do is we're, this is our popcorn pop, pop culture podcast. So we're going to talk, you know, more of the movie side. And as you know, school is starting to open up and students are going back to school, you know, we're seeing movie theaters start to open up and, you know, the movies that were delayed from like April through, you know, July, they're starting to come back um, in September and with the release of the big Christopher Nolan blockbuster Tenet that just came out last week. It was just so good to be back in a movie theater. I uh, worked at a movie theater in my hometown for like three years. So being in a movie theater has been like part of my life for a long time. So it was awesome to be back. For sure. Speaking of the movie theater, how was it? Like, was it different? What different protocols did they have in place? Um, so when I went, I went with some buddies uh, last, I want to say last week, Tuesday. Um, we had the early access. Tenant had an early access where you can see it, you know, a week kind of before the official release date. And so um, I went there at a late night, late late show. And so it was pretty empty. And I feel like that's going to be the case with most movie theaters. I don't think a lot of people are going to go see movies yeah, right out of the gate. Yeah, we're not very comfortable right now either. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we kind of, we got to the movie theater. Parking lot was pretty empty out at the big Marcus Theater in Cedar Rapids um, on Collins Road. So it was pretty empty. Last time I was there, I think I saw the movie Parasite, and it was packed on like a Sunday afternoon. It was completely full. So that was a little bit different, mm-hmm. but, you know, they're enforcing um, the mask policy. Um, you have to have a mask to go inside. You, we, I bought concessions. I bought candy. I think um, they're encouraging, you know, online orders for popcorn. And, you know, I know this this is a bigger theater than the one from my hometown. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, they hot dogs, pretzels, all that. They kind of – they want you to do it um, more – online they mm-hmm. want you to take that initiative and approach uh so that was kind of it um i saw a lot of people cleaning constantly mm-hmm. spraying like door handles spraying and you know that's nice just just so you see it just mm-hmm. yeah that's mostly why like it's just a good thing is just seeing it makes you feel safer so mm-hmm. i respected that but then in the movie theaters they're socially distancing so when we had to pick our seats you know a bunch of the seats were already removed just because they're they already enforced mm-hmm. internally in their software. Like you can't pick these seats because oh, yeah, social. Yes. So that was cool. Um, and they had tape on the seats. They had tapes on all the seats actually, mm-hmm. and you had to rip the tape off your seat. So that kind of also oh. is, you see yeah. it, and it makes you feel all right. They're going each after each show. They're putting a new set of tape down to make sure they wipe where the person was seeing. So I like that too. Mm. Do you have to wear a mask? When you're in the theater watching the movie, or can you take it off, or how does that work? Yes, so they they do want you, and I think they had a couple people, um, they had a couple workers do plenty of walkthroughs where they would walk through and look at us, make sure our masks were on, and I'm pretty sure they would have told us if we didn't have our mask on to please put it on, and you know, you just got to be respectful and follow their rules because you're in their building. Um, So that was kind of it, though. I was just, you know, all the COVID crap besides the point i was just happy to be back yes yeah yes do you still recommend people going to the theaters now like is it is it as enjoyable as it would be without mask and the dip like the um separation from like sitting next to someone you know? see that stuff really doesn't bother me i was kind of with just another friend of mine um so we um we we were sat- sitting next to each other mm-hmm. but i do understand if like you're going in a large groups how annoying yeah. that can be you're kind of scattered all throughout the movie theater so that could be a little bit lame but um at the same time you know just seeing a movie on the big screen it's there's something about it with me. And the me. popcorn. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I really, that's, that's like the biggest thing I miss about movie theaters is like the popcorn 
and it's just like the environments, I guess, like the big screen, the movies, and the popcorn. And like, I love going with friends, but like, you know, I haven't been back since probably like March is the last movie I saw, and it was, yeah, it's been a long time. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, you know, I'd recommend it um, if you're, if you're down to, um, you know, go see a movie if you see a movie that you think you really want to see but you don't know you know i would i would maybe go on a later night on like a weekday because mm -hmm. you'll basically have the whole theater to yourself yeah. like i said there's not not a lot of people are going to movies i think i saw the box office and tenant was like i don't know it opened with like 20 million domestically which is really yeah. really low for a christopher nolan movie and the funny thing is like people like back in like march time when like everything was normal you would pay like at least you pay like a hundred dollars to get rent out the theater just to yourself and now you get it for like the same price as a <laughs> normal ticket so yeah, exactly take advantage of that i guess yeah go for that <laughs> yeah because that's how i like watching movies i yeah. kind of like an empty theater but um so yeah it was good um Tenet was like the most anticipated movie for me this year. Um, you know, I every year I kind of like I'm big into movies, so every year I always do like I have like ten movies that I'm really looking forward to seeing. Like, and Tenet was number one for me this year. I've actually never heard of Tenet, so you you can like describe what's it about. Oh, Tenet. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you know Christopher Nolan. He's kind of a he likes to he likes to just blow expectations with when it comes to what you can do with cinema. And so for this movie, I think he really outdid himself in his head um, with how he created Tenet, how he wrote Tenet. Everything kind of works. But I'm not. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never seen a movie where I've been so confused and did not understand like at least seventy percent of the film. I still do not know. Have you seen Cats? <laughs> Cats musical that movie. I did not understand anything feel, that was happening in that movie. I saw the trailer, and I feel like I refused to see that movie. I did not want to watch it. My teacher <laughs> gave me a bet. She said, I'll pay you $20 if you go see Cats. And I did it, and we walked out halfway through the movie because I was like, I can't stand here and watch this movie where I don't know what's happening, what this cat's doing. It, there's no plot to it. I don't know what was happening. I regret seeing it. Cats was like one of the worst movies yes. of the year last year, I believe. Oh my so God, yeah. I think that's funny that you literally told me you walked out because I'm pretty yeah. sure you're not the only one who walked out of a movie theater <laughs> no, on Cats. At least, <laughs> at least like ten people in our theater back in like whatever, like April, December time, where like everyone's looking around, like kind of confused, like should I get up right now? This is weird to leave. And then I, I was with my, my best friend, and I was like, okay, we're leaving. Like let's get up and leave, and like ask for our money back. We asked for our money back to go watch a different movie because I was, I was like. Movies are expensive, and I didn't want to waste my $20 ticket on this Cats movie that I was not enjoying, and I was very confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so with 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 Tenet, though, it was like I didn't understand mm -hmm. it, but I loved everything I saw as, like, an action film because be, Tenet is a, it's a spy movie. Mm -hmm. It's an international spy epic, like, international... It's crazy. They're in so many different locations. There's so many action set pieces. And, like, the acting's great. Um, it was just... I was blown away just by what they were able to do. And the main thing about Tenet, the big twist, is they can go reverse in time at parts. Mm -hmm. And so there's a part in the scene where, you know, the main character, played by Denzel Washington's son can't think of his name right now but it's Denzel Washington's son everyone knows Denzel <laughs> um he picks up a gun and he aims it at you know where he would be shooting at in the shooting range and this one lady doctor is like all right catch the bullet and he's like huh and she's like you don't have to understand the movie y you don't have to understand it you just have to feel it and that's kind of like what I feel like the movie was you don't have to understand it but you have to feel it. You have to witness it. And so I kind of thought, th thought that was funny. And he caught the bullet right from the gun. So it goes in reverse. And there's really cool action scenes where, like, he's fighting someone in reverse. And, like, you know, they're oh doing, like, things, like, crazy. Like, instead of throwing a punch, his punch is coming back. And That's it, really it's, confusing. It's just really <laughs> trippy. There's this car chase scene where a car is just driving in reverse the whole time, like, so basically, you feel like you're on drugs the whole time watching it. Yeah, I saw like a Rolling Stones said it's don't watch <laughs> like it's a movie where you think you're on acid yeah. and it's like crazy. Same for cats. <laughs> yeah. 
don't see the Tenet or Cats the musical when if you're on any sort of type of drugs yeah, or yeah. generally you don't want to be confused. Unless the Tenet sounds pretty cool, but Cats, don't go see it. Yeah, so my plan is I want to see it again. I recommend you see it just because you said you walked out of Cats. And I would, I'll be honest, like the the opening like 20 minutes, they're speaking in spy dialogue. So they're oh, like, no. they're talking, he's minutes. like, he's like, the orchestra was played pleasantly last night. And then another guy's like, oh, yeah, the Green Valley is beautiful in the mornings. For 20 minutes? Yeah. And you're like, I'm like, what are I'd they? I'd probably walk out at that point. <laughs> I know it's spy code, but what are they talking yeah, about? Yeah. I might have to walk out of that one. I'm kidding. Yeah, but I'll be honest, the whole action, the spectacle was amazing. I think I'm going to see it again sometime this week just because I'm a big Christopher Nolan movie. Have you ever seen Inception? Uh, the Dark Knight, um, Interstellar, uh, Dunkirk, any of these okay. movies? Is Harry Styles in Dunkirk? Yes. Right. I didn't watch it, but I just knew I've heard. Okay, I've heard of all those movies. I just never watched them. Yeah. I guess yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of action movies. Like, so I'm not the biggest fan of superhero movies, action. I don't know. I'm just not that kind of person, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. This was a huge blockbuster that you know he made and. Um, it was, I was, I was not disappointed. I don't think it's, it's, it's his best work, mm -hmm. but I still have to just respect all the technicalities that he went through with making it. Like, how do you film like all these things going in reverse? And then he has these scenes where like people are running forward as people are running backwards. Like there's a huge scene where like, there's kind of like an mm -hmm. army We're in like the middle East and the army is kind of getting off these helicopters and as people are running out of the helicopter, people are backpedaling in, and it's like... I would love to see him, like, Ed, in the big, the, like, the, him see it seem like editing it, all well, that Like, together. that's kind like, of what I was wondering. I was like, are they training the actors to, to like, backwards? go backwards? Yeah, yeah I the, feel like they won. I feel like they, he's probably edited, like, like that somehow. I would have loved to see him edit that. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it was just crazy, and there's a, there's a really cool shot where, like, a building explodes, but it's in reverse. That's so... I don't and know how so, like, that. the there's rubble, and then all of a sudden it gets built up, and you see the explosions, and then it's whole again. And it's it's just I was blown away. I need to see it again, for sure. Um, but yeah, so Tenet was the first big blockbuster back in the big screens. I'm happy now. I'm just I'm <laughs> satisfied. I'm glad I got to see. You know, 2020 has been a rough year. Yeah. You know, for me with you know no sports. Um, you know, can't can't go out to you know gatherings with your friends yes. and stuff. And, but movies was where it was just like that was mm -hmm. the 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 worst. Yeah. It was like the subtle just dagger of the whole COVID crisis yeah, it's, it's for me. Not, not the, seeing these yeah. movies. It's just not the same at home watching it on Netflix. Like in my room with my dog. It's not the mm -hmm. same. It's not the same vibe. I can make my own popcorn at home. It does not taste the same as the movie theater. Nope. So if you like the movie theater popcorn, and you like the environment of being in a dark theater of like a big screen i would say splurge a little bit go out just be careful be cautious be safe wear a mask and mm -hmm. go see the movies since we're open right now yep and i i agree with everything you said and you know with the upcoming flicks i don't think there's a whole lot i think i think the next big huge blockbuster minus all these netflix movies that are coming out mm -hmm. um is wonder woman october 2nd and i have a feeling it's going to be delayed again because tenant kind of it's performing well that's kind of their thing right now it's it, mm -hmm. with warner brothers like i said the next big movie is october 2nd so that's like we have the whole month of september at yes, play yeah. so it's it's going to be a marathon not a sprint for this movie to make its money yeah. And to prove, you know, we can't have blockbusters. But if they start playing them all down, it's going to be tough to, like, pick which one you want to see. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so. I feel like they make more money now, at least at this moment, like, uploading it on, like, Hulu or YouTube or Netflix. More, more people will go and watch it. The more money they make off, like, one of those social media sites than, like, actually in the theater. Which is kind of sad to see how things are going all online. And, like, I kind of miss, like, the in-person stop you know yep exactly but we're in a different era and with that i think that's a good stopping point for this episode of um the popcorn pop culture podcast show um thank you for stopping by ashley it was glad to have you um thank you. hope to have you again and um thank you for listening have a good day stay healthy and, and wear a mask yep take care <laughs>